In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to get started with the email marketing software Beehive. So Beehive recently gained a lot of popularity in the content creator space and is a serious competitor to other alternatives like Substack and ConvertKit. But before getting started, hi, my name is Matt Jarrow and this channel is for content creators who want to turn their ideas into an income. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button now. So here is what I'll be covering. Number one, how to create your Beehive account. Number two, how to create opt-in forms so that people can subscribe to your newsletter. Number three, how to send your first newsletter to your email subscribers. And number four, how to set up automations to send out automated emails, cash in, sit backs, and relax. Let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do, we're going to head over to beehive.com to create our free account. As usual, you have to enter your email, your first and your last name, Choose a password, answer a few questions. So it will ask me from which platform am I coming from, if I have any paid subscribers, and then some questions about how I want to name my newsletter, choosing a subdomain, adding some tags to describe my publication, uploading a logo, picking my brand colors, and finally choose a plan. You obviously have to confirm your email. So let me do this real quick. Once this is done, your Beehive account is ready to go. Okay, great. So once the account is set up, simply head over to settings and let's create a publication. So think of a publication as a newsletter and a blog combined, right? A little bit like a Substack. So you have to create one and you can add an unlimited amount of publications with a total of up to 100,000 subscribers. For most creators, this will be more than enough. So let's create our first publication. I'm simply going to add one line description about what my newsletter is about. I can preview this real quick. Then I'm simply going to choose a logo for my publication. I'm also going to add a thumbnail that I'm going to design real quick here in Photoshop upload it. I'm also going to add a sender name so that people know that this email is actually coming from me. I can also choose the double opt-in option to make sure that people confirm their email before receiving my communications. And I can then also add my social accounts if I wanted to. And voila, here you can see I already have my opt-in page ready. So as you can see, I can also create a welcome email by simply clicking on this button right here. So this is the email that people get immediately after they subscribe to your email list. Okay, great. So right now, let's just create your opt-in form so that people can actually subscribe to your email list straight from your website. So in my case, I have a WordPress website. And let's say I wanted to include my Beehive opt-in form straight on my website. So how do you actually do that? Simple. Go back to Beehive, click on audience, click on subscribe forms, and simply create a form. So let me give you the name right here. So I'm going to give this an original name like demo form, right? And here I can add a header. So let's assume that, yeah, monetize your expertise with digital products, get my free weekly newsletter, right? And then here I can specify the placeholder for the email, the button text, I can also change that. It will automatically populate this with the colors, my brand colors that I chose when setting up my account. So you shouldn't have anything to do right here. I can then also play around with the fonts, which I'm not going to do. I can then also simply show a success message once people actually opted in, or I can redirect this to an external page. I'm going to leave this blank just for demo purposes, and I'm simply going to hit save. Once I hit save, I can simply head over to view, and then as you can see, it will give me different options that I can use to simply add this on my website. So let's just go for the full width option right here. I'm simply going to copy this, head over to my WordPress website, click on edit page. So let's just assume I wanted to add this just underneath the button. Let me just add an HTML block right here, paste the code, and now let's preview this. And as you can see, it actually works. Obviously, there may be a few things that you want to tweak, perhaps center it, make it smaller, etc. You can then play around to adjust this to your needs. Okay, great. So now let's head over to start writing your first newsletter and start sending it to your email subscribers. So you have two options to actually access the editor. So either you can click right here on start writing or you can head over to write and then post and then simply click start writing. It's exactly the same thing. The only thing is that this button right here saves you a few clicks, which is never bad when you're sending out a lot of newsletters. So the thing is that as you can see here, you have the editor on the left hand side. It's a pretty simple and straightforward editor. What I really like about it is that it shows you exactly if the changes that you made are synchronized or not. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm simply going to insert a dummy text right here. And once I select a bit of text, as you can see, I have the stylings options that come up. 
So you can actually basically do what you can do with any text editor, right? So the other thing, which is quite interesting right here, is that it kind of works like in Notion, where you can simply type the forward slash and then simply choose from different blocks that you can pull into the body of your newsletter, right? So this is quite handy, right? So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this post the title. So let's assume that this post is about how to grow from zero to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube in 30 days. And then subtitle, my simple growth formula, right? So here you're going to find all the options related to the post because Beehive is going to convert this newsletter into your quote-unquote Beehive website, right? Where you can have kind of a public archive of all your different newsletters. Number two is actually the emails options, right? So as you can see, you can either create an A-B test or there are a lot of different bells and whistles, but I really want to keep this simple. So what we're going to do right here is we're simply going to use the post title as a subject line and the subtitle as the preview text right here, right? And obviously you have other few options right here. Then when it comes to the website, you can also specify the slug, which will then become your URL. URL. You can add a thumbnail. You can also fine tune SEO settings. Then what you're going to do, you're simply going to click right here on schedule at the bottom right. And it will then bring up a pop-up like this, where you can then schedule your email. Simply click on the calendar icon and then choose the date at the time which you want this to go out. And then simply click on review and publish. And this is it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. So in order to create a new automation, simply head over to write automations and then simply create a new automation. So this is extremely useful if you want to create a welcome sequence where you can actually send out automated emails to new subscribers and actually grow your income. This is a method that I've been using for years to build trust and create passive income with emails. And again, it's something that I explain how to do in depth in my free course. You can find the link in the description. So in order to create a new automation, simply head over to write, automations, and then simply create a new automation. This will bring up a screen like this, where you have to start with a trigger. So first of all, what is a trigger? Well, a trigger is basically the action that will start the automation. So let's click on add the trigger. And as you can see, you have different options right here. So either this starts with a sign up, with an email submitted, a survey form submitted, or let's say if your subscriber upgraded or downgraded from a premium subscription. And if it's none of those, then you can simply head over to manual and then edit the conditions. So as you can see right here, you can easily customize the conditions based on all of the following or any of the following, right? So the main difference right here is if you click on all of the following, all the conditions that you're going to add up here have to match in order for this automation to start working. And if it's any of the following, then as the name suggests, it's basically if any of those specific conditions are met. So let's head over to the different conditions that you can add right here. So as you can see, you can either add if let's say the email equals a specific email by a specific embed source, a custom field, a campaign, a source, medium, channel, referring URL, or subscription tire. So you can really fine tune that to the specific needs that you have. So let's assume that you only want this automation to triggers by a specific campaign. So if let's say my last campaign was YouTube review, then I can simply choose this and click on save. So now that we have our trigger, we can simply start clicking on activating, right? And what will happen is that this trigger is now active. So now I can start with my actions. Okay, so if this subscriber meets these specific conditions, then let's set out an email, right? And I can then simply head over right here and then simply specify the time delay, right? So in this case, it's one minute. Then simply head over and start writing the email right here. Let me just add some dummy text right here, a dummy subject line, and I'm done. Simply again, click on activate, confirm. So now this is done. I can simply add another delay. Let's say wait until, let's edit the timing right here, any day of the week, 12. I can also change the time zone and then save and then simply build out my automation like this. Once this is done, I'm certainly going to give it a name. So let's say new YouTube subscriber, click save, that's it. And as you can see, automation is running, it's saved, and it just works. And that's it, the automation is done. Simply click on exit, and you should see your automation running. And here you can see how many people are already enrolled in this automation, and how many people already finished this automation. Right now, you know exactly how to start using Beehive, but my question for you is, 
Do you know exactly how you can also make money with your emails? Because that's the end goal, right? Well, my next video will show you how.